Hello everyone, it's the illest, chillest builder around on this website, Illusionism, and <laughs> it's been a little while. I guess I've been too busy on Fur Affinity, it's whatever. Anyways, point is, I'm back, and better than ever, with a new build I like to call Space Builders Keep. Okay, that might be a bit edgy. Maybe Castle of Doom 3, that probably works, but Castle of Doom is kind of a Space Builders thing, I don't know. Either way, it is a really cool build. Right now, there's not much to see since I just started, and the camera is really fast, but eventually it'll become a castle on an island of epic proportions. Once I finished it, after about 8 total hours of building, dear lord, I had about 2,700 bricks, which is a lot, even for me. At that point, Brick Builder was actually starting to chug its way along with a really unstable frame rate, but really it's the best we got right now, and I cannot complain. Props to Ty for even trying to make this a reality. Anyways, it'll be it'll eventually get a tall island, a courtyard, a big old wall, a bunch of towers, some houses in cool places, a narrow street, a massive arch bridge, and a really cool tower on some rocks next to an island. You're gonna love how this one's gonna turn out when it's finished, trust me. Now just sit back and watch the whole thing happen. It's a long, relaxing journey. And uh, currently playing is Prospect by Deep Base. So as you can see, right now, I'm building the cliff that the castle will reside on. If you've already seen the end product, it looks pretty natural, and the way I do it is by making one large tall brick and copy-pasting it in the general shape of the island that I want. Uh, to give it a natural feel in the end, I vary the vertical location and rotation of each brick. If you're doing this, you don't want to have any bricks that are in 3-5 to five studs vertically of the bricks next to them, and you should vary the angle of every few bricks. It's really a simple process, and I use it for most of my landscaping these days. If any of you can remember back to June, I made a mountain with this technique, uh, minus the rotation. It's really robust, and now that I told my secrets, I'm going to have to switch to something else rather soon. But I've got another ace up my sleeve for when my style gets overused. Also, some of you might be wondering just where old illusionism went. Uh, to make a long story short, I needed a break. Okay, I'll tell the long story. At this point, it's not much of a secret, so I'll just say it. I helped build the unfinished Egg Hunt 2020. Yes, there was going to be an, there was going to be an Egg Hunt this year, and Space Builders' original plan was to release it on the new client, which is slow, but it's coming. Thanks, Ezka. Anyways, I worked on it starting in March and really put my all into it. Progress, progress was slow, and as April went by, then May, then June, I was really getting burnt out over this. At this point, whenever I wanted to work on something, my brain liked to nag that I could be working on the egg hunt. So instead of calling it quits on the egg hunt, or brute forcing my way to completion, I just let my creati creativity fizzle out. The last time I touched the workshop was in August, and by that point I was practically forcing myself. So I just let myself go and let my creativity bring me wherever it wanted, which ended up being Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. That was pretty fun, but eventually I got bored of that, uh, and I came back to Roblox for the umpteenth time and wasted my time on places like Pool Tycoon 4 and Base Wars. Then I got GTA 4, which only made things worse. But about a week ago, I was sitting and playing something or other when my creativity suddenly came back and missing Brick Hill a little bit, I jumped on the opportunity and built the first thing that came to mind, which ended up being exactly what you're watching right now. I guess the moral of the story is that you should know when to stop yourself so you don't get burned out. It kind of hurt to watch the building world go by as I did other things. There's a bunch of people I never talked to They made some really cool stuff. So that was fun, but now I'm back and we're all good, hopefully.
All right, so now we're getting into the walls of the castle. As you can see, or you'll probably see it in a second at least, I vary the color of each wall section between a light and a dark gray. This keeps my flat and boring walls from looking too flat and boring as the color variation spices it up a little bit. And if you're gonna make the walls like this, just in general, always make sure to fill the cracks between each wall as well as making uh, one color 0 0.01 studs shorter than the others so the bricks don't clash or just every other brick. And for building in general, always make sure the space under it is filled, but I guess that kind of goes without saying. Yeah, also I was dumb here. Uh, always just copy paste your things and details on your bricks ahead of time. I had to do every single outcrop thing on each wall up to this point, and I, I hated that. Don't do that, don't be dumb, don't be stupid. Also, hot building tip, uh, to make things go faster, always find a way to copy paste everything you do. Doing everything by hand can result in a cluttered, messy map too. For example, if I handmade every tree here and made them look different, uh, some of them would look way too weird and I'd have to remove them. As long as you rotate the objects you need to copy every time, unless that doesn't make sense, uh, you'll get a non-uniform looking build that has good models and took way less time to make. It's always better to spend time on one model than no time on 30. You can also just use like two models, uh, three models, uh, that just makes it even better. Playing right now is Orion by Deep Bass. Oh yeah, also, another hot building tip, uh, if you ever need to work on something where accuracy might be difficult, uh, select everything you need, uh, move it by an exact number, say 200 studs away from the build by changing the movement increment, uh, rotate it to 0 degrees, then build the entire thing and then move it back the way that you took it out. It really helps get all the details down right, and you'll see me use it a lot once the build gets cluttered up.
Now playing is Wanamaker by Spencer Brown. Uh, this song is from Anjuna Beats 12, it's part of the Anjuna Beats uh, album series, I really suggest it. Now we're getting into the village and narrow street part, and this is the part that I actually enjoyed the least. Uh, making stuff on angles is just so imprecise, uh, since Brick Builder likes to make the positions of the bricks whacked out, and movement only exists on 90 degree angles, yet it worked out. Uh, this is where the whole move build and move back thing really comes into play, along with the whole trouble about there being so many bricks that the frame rate started to drop. I spend a lot of time around here, so just bear with me. It turns out cool in the end. Also, can I just talk about how much I hate Spotify ads? Like, okay, I get it. You need to pay for the music and stuff, and you need to pay the artists. And Spotify does pay their artists better than things like YouTube, which is nice, but the freaking advertisements, man, oh lord. Uh, it's just the voice, whoever does the voice acting for this, just, no offense to them, but they have the most annoying voice I will ever deal with. Like, it comes on every single time, and I just have to put take my headphones off and just wait for the ad to go over. Like, that's my ad block, that's my Spotify premium. But it's just so piercing that sometimes I can just hear what she's saying just through the tens, through the five centimeters between my ear, my headphones and my ears. I just really, really don't like Spotify ads, but I don't want to pay for premium because I am poor and cheap. Rant over. Also now playing is Contrasts by Vintage and Morelli. This is also part of Anjuna Beats Volume 12.
At this point, I started building these cliffside houses and I just want to point out how much I honestly adore them. They're just so cool placed on the cliffside like that. With like really narrow walkways to get to them. Like while building it, I was thinking about how much I wanted to live in one of those houses and it, it, it seems like such a fun novelty. Until you slip in the rain and fall 50 feet landing on your neck and instantly killing you. But, you know, you, I just really like the vibe. I should build something like this again. You know, if you've sat through like this 23-ish minutes of uh, time lapse, you know, props to you. You, yeah, you actually care. That's nice. Uh, you are currently listening to me speaking. Just kidding. Uh, you're also listening to uh, Smoke and Mirrors by Jerome Ismai and Alastor uh, featuring London Thor. This is also from a Juno Beats 12. It's just such a good album. You should listen to it and all the other ones. You know, after 10-15 minutes of recording, I noticed just how nasally my voice is, and I really don't like it. Just, I get everyone kind of doesn't like recordings of their voice, but it's just how nasally I am, and I can't, I can't stop that. I don't know how. You're just a smoke and mirrors, a beautiful disguise, just smoke. Just a smoke and mirrors, a beautiful disguise. 
Just a small and mirrors The beautiful disguise Just small and mirrors Running out of lies You're just a small and mirrors The beautiful disguise Just small Okay, so now I'm starting to build the uh, arch bridge, and I just, I really like the arch bridge. It looks really nice in the end, uh, just because of how I curved it. It fits, it fits really well, and uh, the design is really simple, but really effective. I remember seeing that uh, sort of look on a, an arch bridge in uh, British Columbia. I don't remember where I remember it from, but I remember it existed, and I remember thinking it was pretty cool. So yeah, I just I, I like the arch bridge. Personally, I think uh, <laughs> if it was historically accurate, just like to the time period, uh, that arch bridge wouldn't exist just because it's modern architecture. So you know, enjoy the unrealistic but nice looking stuff. So you're currently listening to uh, Flim by Aphex Twin. I really like this track uh, just because of how peaceful it manages to stay uh, despite uh, the high tempo. Yeah, I fell, in this, uh, I fell in love with this track like a while ago and it hasn't stopped. It's a really, really good track. As you can see, this was like my most glaring use of the move build, move back technique. Uh, and uh, after building it, uh, you're gonna see me move in just a second. I really, it just felt so nice to have it click into place. Like I was really, like my heart was pumping, just kind of knowing that I'd finished and everything had worked out just fine, just exactly how I wanted it. 
it just felt really, really nice. You, you never really get that feeling much. You just, whenever you do, you just roll in it and embrace it. God, I need sleep. If you're still here, uh, thanks for being here. It's nice when someone cares enough to sit through 30 minutes of ugly time-lapse footage sped up in Windows Movie Maker with a bunch of YouTube rips of random songs. Uh, so here's a bunch of still shots of the finished build. It really does look spectacular to me. It's just one of the best builds I've made. I love the look of it. It's the way I use rotation and especially that big tower in the sea. It's going to be my favorite part. Also, I know I may seem like some big scary builder that no one can talk to, but I'm, I'm really just a guy. If you have any questions, any at all, feel free to drop into my Discord server and throw one my way or message me on the website. Uh, you could also just comment on this video. I really just love helping out fledgling builders. They're just my children, but you know, I, I don't want to be patronizing. Anyways, if you're still here, thank you for sticking around this long, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you around with my next upload in 4-6 to six months, because my brain will inevitably think that I can't top this level of quality, even if I am setting a pretty low bar. Anyways, peace.